Facebook fans know that earlier this week we shared a particular picture and around 50 thousand people saw the post because you shared it 332 times and liked it more than 1500. That's right. You can see why we were inspired by their positive attitudes in the middle of some tough times. So we bring you their story of how they found their silver lining. The garage is totally gone. I don't know where it went. Deb Ackerman is searching. Yeah. And you can tell that green step was the garage door to get into the house. She's trying to find the things that made up her life. Oh my God, is all I could say. Just, I was in a state of shock, I think. I didn't expect it to be this bad. When the storm hit, Deb was safe in her friend's basement. But I don't know what made me go, but I just thought I'd better go. Had she stayed home, things might have been different. The crawl space was right there, and so that's how far back it shoved itself off. It's been very rough. Rough seeing your mom feel all that pain and just disbelief. Deb's family has been helping with the cleanup. A lot has been recovered. That wallpaper, I'm not sure where that came from. But there's some things that are missing. It's not a lot of humor to be found, really. I mean, it's just pure devastation. The lives that have changed and will forever be changed because of it. After a couple days of cleanup, they finally saw a sign that the storm couldn't destroy their spirit. We were just done messing around, cleaning up, and Case, my daughter Casey said, Mom, let's, let's have a little fun with this, because if the sale sign was sticking in the garage. We just thought, well, let's just, let's laugh. So we said, get the sign and sit in front of it and we'll take a picture of you. So <laughs> it's been good therapy for us. <laughs> So is there an asking price or what's the price of the house? <laughs> Best offer. <laughs> I don't know if there is an appropriate one. <laughs> Free. <laughs> it's got natural light. It's as is. As yeah. is. A lot of skylights. <laughs> yes. The ability to find humor among the wreckage has turned Deb and her picture into Facebook celebrities. With each comment, like, and share, she hopes others can find the humor too. I think you need a little humor in time like this, you know, you got to make the best of it and we're all safe and sound and that's the main thing, so this stuff's materialistic, it will be put back together eventually and we just need to all be grateful and I think we're all grateful that we're standing where we are. You still got to try to carry on and just bringing a smile to people's faces you know, is a good thing. Do I cry? Yeah, I cry. You know, I've been upset and I'm in, I think it's all starting to hit and, but it'll be okay. We'll be fine. What a spirit. Wow. I know. I, I, me seeing them laugh as much as that, you know, in front of her house. I mean, that was, you must I have been surprised. That, I found that really touching. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. well, you kind of didn't know what to expect because it is a, a sad thing, obviously. Right. And they were, they were very sad. They felt bad for their neighbors. You know, one neighbor lost an entire, you know, his house was flattened. So, I mean, it, you know, I, I think it took them probably, you know, a couple of days to start Get through to, the shock to find and, yeah. the humor and then. Um, you know, but I love that at the end, you know, they're going to be fine and I, I yeah. do believe that they will be okay. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, yeah. and that's not the only um, good news I found. I actually uh, wanted to share another thing. While I was out, I met another neighbor, the guy who lived across their street, and uh, he shared his good news with me too. I just figured the wind sucked her out and blew her to Potomac. I didn't, you know, I mean, I... You know, when you see that, you think nothing could survive that. The chimney fell in the roof and whatnot, and didn't think anything could live through that. Good Lord looked after you, didn't she, baby? Hmm? So Earl Smith thought that his cat Snowball there was gone forever, but then yesterday morning, they were reunited. He oh, found cool. Snowball in the basement of that house, and... Uh, Another kind of, you know... What a, mir a miracle! I, I mean, mean, there are things you can replace, houses being one of them, but, yeah. I mean, you, you, the pets and the family members... And Heather always saying. talks about finding the joy, yeah. and here's two great instances. I know, it, right? So. And they were right across the street. I'm sure we yeah. could have found more, but yeah. that was great.